and we have liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia on an international life science and microgravity mission. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia. Houston Columbia is in the roll program. Roger roll, Columbia. I think you can tell when the SRB is lit. Tom, the image down here is just crystal clear and spectacular. That's going to let a lot of people know what that ride really looks like. Well, it sure got our hearts racing. And uh, thanks to all those folks that put all the effort into every one of these missions. You know, it's just an uh, unbelievable ride. And I just can't thank folks enough to put all the effort, attention to detail, and uh, just uh, all the pride that we take in that. And they short of their work too. Got to thank them. See the transition from the uh, 3G, the throttle back, and then the, uh, the 0G afterwards, if you can set that up. It's just a fantastic experience to share. Tom, we agree, and we really appreciated the in-cabin video during the strap-in as well. It lets folks see uh, what, you, what you did to get to space and what the ride looked like. And I'm sure those people are listening now uh, and happy to go along with you. Well, it shows you all the hard work that uh, Max and Al and Jim went through to get us in there on time. And what you're looking at now is that uh, venting that I mentioned just after the uh, SEP. And I noticed this uh, coming out of the port side of Columbia after STS-55 also. I'm not sure it was ever explained, but there was not any venting coming out the starboard side. Okay, you can see uh, Rick and Chuck with the cameras hard at work, and uh, Susan's sorting out some of the other things that are on the mid-deck. And we've got... Uh, most of the crew out of their helmets and the folks on the mid-deck are really busy getting ready to take the suits off. 